Good morning. Praise the Lord once again. It's Thursday and uh, God has been faithful to us since we began on Monday. And uh, he wants us to keep joy. He wants us to keep our joy in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, before we go to today's uh, uh, devotion, let me pray. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus, I want to say thank you because of the opportunity that you have given unto us to hear the word of God. I pray that, Lord, may you speak to us, speak to our hearts, even in the name of Jesus. And I want to pray that may this word bring transformation even in our lives. And in the name of our Lord Jesus, we do pray and believe. Amen. Friends, uh, today we are going to, to look at some more pointers on why it's important for us to keep the joy. I'm here to tell you this wonderful morning, point number nine. Point number nine, refuse to worry. Refuse to worry. Why am I saying refuse to worry? The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter number six, verse number 25. Matthew chapter number six, verse number 25. The Bible says, therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life that you shall eat or what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body what you shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? Than raiment. Allow me to tell you this wonderful morning that don't worry about the things that have been mentioned in this scripture. Don't worry about what you shall eat. Don't worry about what you shall drink. Don't worry on what you shall put on. Why? Because God is on your side. God is on your side. I'm here to tell you this wonderful morning that life is more than, the th than these things and the physical body is more than the clothes we wear. I'm here to tell you this wonderful morning, refuse to worry. Purpose that you will not worry that you will not give room to worry in the name of our lord jesus christ one man of god says why worry while you can pray i also ask you these questions why are you worrying about that situation and yet you are losing your energy on that sit on the on, on you focusing on that on that situation why are you worrying why are you wasting your time thinking about how that situation is going to be can be changed i'm here to tell you why worry while you can pray the energy that you are wasting on, on worry use it to pray use it to pray use it to pray in the name of our lord jesus christ i also want you to tell you this wonderful morning that worry will steal your joy one of the things that worry does it comes to steal the joy that God has given unto us. One of the things that, joy, that uh, worry does, it, it is a thief. It comes to steal the joy that God has given unto us. Now you see, instead of giving you, of giving an opportunity to something that is going to steal that joy, pray. Pray. The Bible says in the book of John chapter number 10, verse number 10, the Bible says, the Bible says, uh, uh, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And that's what, and that's what uh, worry does to you. It comes to steal, it comes to kill you, and it comes to destroy you. You become a hopeless person. You become someone who doesn't even know uh, uh, his God. He doesn't, you become someone who doesn't even know his God. So why worry while you can pray? Refuse to worry this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I also want you to know this morning, point number 10, that the joy of the Lord is your strength. In the scripture that we began with on Monday, in the scripture that we began with on Monday, the joy of the Lord is your strength. The, the last part of that verse, huh, the Bible says, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Allow me to tell you this morning that the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. I'm here to tell you this morning that your, your, your strength does not come from any other person. Your strength comes from the Lord. Focus on the Lord. And even in that situation, I'm here to declare over your life that may God grant you strength and may you overcome 
in the name of Jesus Christ. May you overcome in the name of Jesus Christ. The situation may be so much unfavorable. Yeah? Things surrounding you may be so much unfavorable. Yeah? At your work, you may be experiencing a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, battles. Yeah? I'm here to tell you this morning, may you find joy. May you find joy even in that tough situation. May you find joy even in that situation in the name of Jesus Christ. Your business may be at the verge of collapsing. I'm here to tell you this morning, may you find joy in the Lord. May you find joy in the Lord. Don't go and seek help from other things, things that may not help you. Find joy in the Lord. Find joy in the Lord. Why? Because the joy of the Lord is your strength in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to speak to your life even this morning. Allow me to pray for you even as you go out. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus, I thank you for my viewers. I pray that Lord, even as they go out in their various duties, Jehovah Father, I pray may they find strength even in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I bless them by the power in the name of our Lord Jesus and I declare the favor of God over their lives. And it's in the name of our Lord Jesus we do pray and believe. Amen.